So Rob, Halo? Halo, Halo is, again, that's a very new uh, product. So um, this is based on completely new uh, silane technology that we've developed from scratch. Designed so that it's extremely easy to apply on all types of film. It's compatible with matte, satin, self-healing, older technology films. Extremely easy to apply. And if you leave high spots, you can always wipe them off. Durability of the hydrophobic performance is, uh, you can get around about two years from that. So yeah, the design brief for this was, so there are a lot of different vinyls and uh, PPFs on the market. Compatibility was an issue. Um, so it had to be compatible with all the mainstream brands. So you got hydrophobic, uh, you know, PPFs with hydrophobic coatings, you got matte, you got satin, you got self-healing. So that was a must. Secondly, application, because with, particularly with matte and satin films, if you have something that has high spots that it becomes incredibly hard, you're in a situation and you leave the high spots, you know, somebody maybe is not paying attention, they left some high spots behind, you're gonna to have to replace the film. So one of the design briefs with this as well was that those high spots, you've gotta be able to remove them a long time afterwards. In fact, even three days afterwards, you can still remove high spots with this. And then the other thing obviously is durability of the hydrophobic performance. We use, uh, I can't remember the number, but it's an ISO and ASTM tests that it's a 5,000 scrub cycle. So we scrub a surface with a strong wash chemical. So uh, a caustic wash chemical. The standard is getting it to 5,000. We test a lot of different products. The best any other could get to was about 4,300. This was still going at 10,000 and we, we stopped the test. So durability of this is, is phenomenal. So it's giving, it's making that uh, PPF, because as you know, PPF is a relatively porous substrate. So things like bugs and dirt and all kinds of things stick into it much more readily than paint. This is giving you paint-like characteristics on a PPF. Okay, and then in regards to the application and preparation side of things, yeah. so preparing a panel, it's one thing we get yeah. asked quite a lot sure. before yeah. we do yeah. this on. Yeah. How, how do we uh, do? You just do a full decontamination, make sure there's nothing on it, and apply the product in areas, I would say no more than about two foot by two foot. Make sure that you go further when you're buffing this surface off the edge. But I mean, because it's such a forgiving product, and again, this is something we actually had to synthesize new materials to make this work, is you know, to make this make it so that it, 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 it goes on the surface very easily, but then becomes hydrophobic. You actually have to switch the characteristics of the product as it's curing, and it has a covalent bond. So during that curing process, it turns, you know, it turns with um, uh, very low surface energy, and then suddenly it then has the hydrophobic performance that, that you're looking for. So um, application, everybody, your know, feedback we've had on it is, yeah, everybody's finding it extremely easy to apply. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell. See you next time.